Alright, so here's instructions on how to use the Zygu X5105 for accessing a 6 meter repeater. The first thing you want to do is you, you want to set the VFO A and B to the input and output frequencies. And also to the right mode. Right now I'm in USB mode and I'm on 14 meters. So I'm going to go up to the uh, 6 meter band. I'm going to make sure I'm in narrow FM, so I push the mode until I go to narrow FM. And then I'm going to switch to the second VFO, which is VFO A. And I want to take that up to the 6 meters. And it's already in the narrow FM mode. My tuner's on. I'm going to go ahead and push the auto tuner to make sure it's tuned. And it's now tuned on the input frequency. So I'm going to switch back to the output frequency. And I'm going to push this SPL button for split. And now when I key up, it's going to key up on the opposite VFO. And then when I unkey, it will come back to the um, output VFO. So when I key up, it the key is up on the input. I let go, it will listen on the output frequency. I'm going to turn up the volume. Oh, I've also got the squelch set. So the squelch is right here and I have it set to 2 which is about where it needs to be for a repeater at least with my antenna. I'm using a uh, off center fed dipole and I'll push menu to get out of that. So again my split VFOB set I'll go to VFOA again. That's my input. I'm tuned already. Battery power is good. I'm using the internal mic. Internal mic is a menu option. So there's mic select right here. External, back to internal. The internal microphone's hard to see in the dark here, but it's it's right here by this button. This button right here is a little hole somewhere in here. And uh, now I'll go ahead and key up and try it. So we'll hit the push to talk. AC9 HP. Turn the volume up a little bit, maybe we can hear it a little bit better. AC9 HP. And there, that's it. That's how you access a 6 meter repeater on the Zygu X5105.